Welcome back, tribe. We got one here from the Young Turk saying passport bros are fed up with American women. So title, cool story, but leftist, far leftist media, mainstream media. Let's see what they have to say. Is it going to be any different? Hey, there's a lot of fun things to do out here in Thailand besides just looking for a wife. People here are fun and friendly. They have a beautiful culture, amazing food. You can live like a king for like $2,000 a month. I'm traveling the world right now. I'm a single guy and dating, so I have an experience and it's absolutely the truth that it's better. I'm sorry, I don't know what you want me to say. It's the inconvenient truth you guys don't want to hear. Hey, we're out here having fun, living our best lives. And if you think you're gonna stop us with some middle school disses about, oh, you're a loser, you got another thing coming. I don't even know you. And Thailand does look fun. Mm -hmm. But that gentleman is part of a subculture in America. They're referred to as the passport bros. Who are the passport bros? Well, they're individuals who aren't really satisfied with their options here in the United States. Mm -hmm. And so they uh, are traveling the world in search of a partner, of a wife, of someone to share their lives with, John. Let's watch more. Well, yeah. Passport bros? What is a passport? Okay, passport bros are men that are so fed up with Western women because we're all apparently so woke and so terrible and Western women don't want to be wives that they are now going to other countries to find wives. That's like which countries? Southeast Asia, the Philippines, the Dominican Republic. So it's like the opposite of the mail order bride. Yes, like, exactly. Okay, so yes. instead of ordering out, instead of using stamps.com. Yes, <laughs> and bringing them here. Right, they're using Travelocity. It feels more expensive, but. It is. And so a lot of these men get remote jobs. And so they go there and they live in these countries and then they meet these women. And then women in the Western world, specifically the United States, are so pissed off about it. And they're like, you're going to all these countries where these women don't even know how to speak English. They can't even read. They're so uneducated. And then the men like film themselves with these women and like show themselves on dates. And the women are so elegant and they're so well spoken and they're so traditional. And they're like, look at these women. Yeah, passport bros. Okay. Because Western women are so bad. Hmm. Did not know about that. Yeah. I mean, That's why I'm here. interesting. I mean, I, I did marry a, a woman from abroad. I mean, she's she been in America since she was 12, but uh -huh. still, she's Israeli. So. There you go. Yeah. You're like a reverse passport, bro. Yeah, exactly. Well, she came here and she got citizenship, so. Yeah. You didn't import her? I did, I did not import my, my wife, no. <laughs> Make that very clear. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Ugh. I mean, look. I here love my go. country and I love my people. And when I say people, I mean Americans in general. And so I kind of don't like dissing Americans. It turns me off. Mm -hmm. But if people need to travel outside of America to find their partner, okay. Yeah. First of all, it's not like you call it passport bros. That doesn't make it new or whatever. Like going somewhere where the dollar can be stretched further and you think you'll have more control over the women that you entered in a relationship. That's not new. That's like, that's a really old thing. So it why does they have to say control? We're, no one's trying to have control. We're trying to have financial freedom. One, two, we're trying to be able to live. You can't support a traditional lifestyle with a stay at home wife and feed kids and have a house and a car in America anymore. Most people are forced to rent. The median rent has gone to $2,000 a month. Prices, inflation skyrocketed across the board. You can't, it's hard to be traditional in America unless you're making hundreds of thousands of dollars. Or you could find a way to get remote work or do online consulting or whatever, your own little side hustle, and get that life right now by going overseas. And you can do it. By the way, by the way, the, the thing that, I don't know that guy in the first video. Mm -hmm. The thing that that's the issue isn't what they're doing. It's the way that they are trying to clearly make sure we know that there's a spin to it in their videos. Like there are people who just want to live in another part of the world. They do like the culture. They do like the geography. They like the food or whatever. But when your whole thing is advertising to other men as an influencer, because you're the one putting out those videos, he's like, don't give me your grade school things. I didn't make you film that video. You put it out there because you're trying to sell a lifestyle and the lifestyle is luxurious exploitation. That's what you're trying to, and you could do that. That's fine. I'm less bothered by that than whoever the woman. You see how the left does it? Luxurious exploitation. You think Thailand is luxurious? You think th that would be where people go for Dubai to get luxury. We're not exploiting anything. America exploits everybody. America is exploiting its own citizens right now. There's nothing luxurious about being forced to live in a dinky apartment where there's full of crime and homeless everywhere and being told to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. That's called exploitation. Get out of here, dude. And we didn't make you make that video. Yeah, and he didn't ask for those opinions in the comments either.
but they still went and clicked on there and tried to make like, oh, those women are uneducated. Oh, you're taking advantage. Oh, the same exact rhetoric that they're using. And he just responded ahead of time. Don't give me that crap about this, that. Uh, look, you can live a great life here. Everything's cheap. He's made plenty of videos that have probably been about the lifestyle and day-to-day -day living in all these foreign countries that he's visited. And yes, life is better. Yes, your dollar does go further. Your quality of life increases. Yeah, of course. Duh. You're able to afford more. With Ben Shapiro was. I don't know her or what I her politics are. I thought it was just are. Ben Shapiro wearing a wig. I'm just kidding. I don't. Just kidding. I, honestly I know don't that know. it was Brett Cooper. Just joking around. Okay. Well, I don't know who that is or what her politics are. Um, they do look like each other, though. Like, are, are they related? I don't think so. I don't know. I just, I love that she either just jokingly or felt like she needed to do PR for the guys. Like, you know, these are guys who are just like frustrated with the women. Whereas there, they're super elegant. We're trash in this country. We're yeah. utter trash. By the way, the, by the way, they're really there's fast. such wide variety in, in the United States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's trash if that's your thing. Sure. There's also a lot of classy, beautiful, independent, no, educated isn't. women. Like I got the last one, there sorry. There are 330 million people. Bro, can you simp harder? Can you please just bootlick Anna harder on this segment? I got the last one. Sorry. This is Cubicle Carl in real life. You got the last one. Sorry. Man, oh man. I can't wait to oh, read the comments on this one. People in America. Like, why are we like all trash? No, but that's the thing. Like, the PR is these guys are frustrated with women here because the women are bad. It's not that the guys can't hack it. It's not the guys you don't did. have what it takes or can't evolve or learn that they're not willing to meet people. After. Why, when the culture tells women they're strong and independent? Why, when they tell you that men aren't needed? Why, when they tell you that men are useless? When you should use men? When you save men as foodie calls? When you get a rotation as a woman? When your body count is in the hundreds? Why would a guy who's busted his ass to become somebody then goes out into the dating pool and sees there's nothing much here? and then decides to go overseas. That guy needs to keep upgrading. That guy needs to step it up to step up and be a real man for a single mother of like three kids and is already a bit chubby and past her prime. That guy's got to step up for that. Dudes are saying, I'm not stepping up for trash. I'm going to go find my diamond in the rough. I'm going to go to a place that's going to appreciate me for being a man, for being traditional, for being a provider, a place that'll financially allow me to keep my woman at home so she doesn't have to slave away at a job so we could do the more important things in life like look after our kids and make sure we raise upstanding citizens and able to give them attention and invest in our children 100%. Can't do that on a dual income household, cubicle Carl, because we're all wage cuck slaves in America working nonstop just to barely survive. You wouldn't know that because you're cubicle cucking for the mainstream narrative on your cushy job, whatever your salary is, to just parrot absolute bullshit to the masses. So you go home in your gated community with your multi-million dollar contract on your cuck news TV, while the rest of us have to be scrounging around working our asses off for the bare minimum. Why don't we talk about the central bank? Why don't we talk about inflation? Why don't we talk about monetary policy that's destroying the ability of people to even have kids. Nah, we got to talk about how men need to step up individually and stop going overseas for luxurious lifestyle exploitation. Bro, this network is just as shit as I remembered it 10 years ago. I'm surprised they're still on air way that they can't find a satisfactory relationship is that the women are trash. That's why they have to flee to a and the laws are trash, but he'll never bring up why, you know, getting wrecked in divorce court shouldn't be an issue, guys. Another country. Listen, the gentleman in the TikTok video that we showed earlier, mm -hmm. it's just that, like, there aren't a sufficient amount of women in America who are willing to, like, pour cups of jizz-like substances on him as he's walking through the I streets. I don't know exactly what, I assume that's like a festive <laughs> thing, I don't what know. What was but going on in that video? Does anyone know? Like, what was that? I don't, I don't know. I, I haven't been a type. It's probably a traditional holiday that, you know, happy people, instead of worrying about rainbow flags and offending my pronouns, they're living a good life, enjoying traditional culture. The guy is a part of it. It seems very welcoming. Everybody's smiling and laughing. But these turds, miserable turds, can't figure that one out. The Jews like substance. <laughs> right, well, that's Brett. He's you been there. This? But um, yeah, <laughs> wh what they're doing can oh be God. fine. But they seem to want to make sure that we know that it's not, that this is an exploitative thing. This is uh, you know, trying to down on westernized women or the fact that was, they believe they should have rights or something. It was soap, by the way, that they're throwing uh -huh. on him. It's a good start. So apparently, even in Thailand, 
they know he's a dirty boy. Okay, I'm just mm. kidding. That's probably made his Listen, day if he sees you saying that. But no, I, I hear what you're saying. By the way, like I have no problem with men doing this if they feel that this is what they need to do to find someone. Listen, it's not just men, me, by the way. Women don't go abroad to meet people. I mean, maybe they do. I I'm unfamiliar with that practice. I, isn't like eat, pray, love? Isn't love one of the three? Like I think that's what people do. They I don't think there's a abroad. subculture of women in America who are like men in the U.S. suck, and no, no, so no, no, I'm going to go to Thailand to find my yes, husband. Yes, I'm yeah, but there is a mainstream culture of hating men and not wanting to do anything with men. And my money's my money. His money's my money. What do you mean? What do I bring to the table? You're lucky you're even talking to me. Oh, can't go to this chain restaurant. What do I look like? A cheap sleuzy when her babies are at home starving, but she's still going out on dates because needs a man to take care of her, but won't take care of her man. That's what makes this all a joke, is that the quality is so trash across the board. The mainstream narrative has infected so many people that it is better to just leave. Go where you are appreciated most, and that is anywhere outside of the West. I told you guys, man, this is, it's, we're barely getting started here. Trust me. Now that these people are covering it, and soon more and more people are covering it, when the financial impact starts to get big enough, when the voices from women start getting loud enough, because there is going to be more and more dating pressure applied. Every single man that leaves is another Mick Simpy that would have been paying out his ass 50-50 in divorce court or working his ass off to support a woman, my money and my money, and happy wife, happy life, that's one less man. That every single dude that leaves, that's less taxes in the coffers of the city, the state, and the country, and that's less money that you're giving to the corporations that you would have been supporting buying their shitty products. You're going somewhere completely different. This is like a triple threat. The dating pool shrinks, the government gets less taxes, the corporations make less profit. That's your power. That's what you can use. Maybe one day when the number gets so large, if it ever gets so large that it's impacting all three heavily, maybe then they'll start to take this seriously and start to make changes in the culture across the board. Until then, get out and leave. Don't fight for people that would never fight for you. I'm not saying the subculture, I'm just yeah. saying the practice exists. People sure. go abroad and meet people all the time. Yeah, yeah. It's that they're trying to like layer this Andrew Tate pickup artist thing onto it. Look, I think that what, what take is the that? videos that they're posting are meant to say is that <laughs> Andrew Tate got they're brought not into happy this. with dude. Does, he, does that guy just live in their collective minds? Like he's he the boogeyman to them. Whenever you talk about women, it's just he's embedded himself so deep in the left psyche that like oh, women, men try to Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate. And you're talking about tomorrow, start foaming at the mouth and shit and going rabid. How ridiculous. <laughs> that had nothing to do with that dude. We're just talking about going overseas and living a traditional lifestyle and having fun in the streets in Thailand and some festival where they're throwing soap. Jeez. The women here. Like, it's just a way of insulting <laughs> women in America. That's 100%. it. That's all yeah. it is. That's not um, the message I get from it, but that's definitely the message they want to send. Yeah. And like, the thing is, I'm not insulted by it because I know it's not true. Yeah. Uh, uh, like, the, the woman in the video is like, and all these Western women are so mad that these guys left. Who, who's mad? They might mock them. They're not like, no, come back. I want you. That's not what's, I don't think that's what's going on. Listen, They're I'm a very, upset. very happy, happy woman in my personal life. Okay. Please I'm not tell upset. us more. Please <laughs> tell us more. Are you sure? Okay, dude. No comment there. You really got to say that statement out loud. I don't think it's true. Sure. No, I'm good. <laughs> Dead ass. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> no, but throw soap on me. I'm gonna throw up. In all seriousness, like to me, what it communicates to the rest of the world when videos like that are posted that are just meant mm -hmm. to insult, what they don't realize is they're communicating to the world. I had a lot of trouble finding someone who was yeah. willing to date me. And so I went elsewhere where I think that's so interesting. Why is it I had trouble dating? Personally, I had no trouble dating in America. Dating super easy in America. Getting laid is super easy. People will come over with hookah and chill, Netflix and chill. Dating culture in America is all about hypersexualized hookups and nothing more else in between. Situationships, sugar daddy, sugar baby relationships. Like how, how much money you got? What kind of lifestyle can you give me? Women will sell themselves out for anything these days. What are you talking about? The men that are going overseas see the writing on the wall. You want me to marry that? You want me to make a wife out of that kind of woman? 
there's nothing wively about most Western women today. That's being true. It's a broad statement, but that's true. How many of them know how to cook and clean, are very feminine, fit, friendly, like babies, would like to have a large family of their own. The idea of staying home to raising kids is a positive, not a negative. Having a husband and taking care of him, not like in a baby useless way, but like cooking him meals when he goes off to work because obviously you're a wife at home and you love to take care of her man and send him out with a nice meal. Have the place looking fresh. Actually intimately love your man and don't withhold sex and weaponize it because he left the toilet seat up. Yada, yada, yada. I could go on and on and on. How many of those women do you think are in the United States? How many of those women would meet a man's particular standards or I should say preferences maybe he likes white girls maybe he likes black girls maybe he likes hispanic girls only maybe he wants a girl that's maybe this tall or not too short maybe he wants a woman of a religious denomination maybe he lives in a certain state and he doesn't want to travel anywhere else you know there's there's little preferences that also shrink your pool so when we mention all those things and then you apply a man's preferences in there because you got to have some standards all of a sudden that pool shrinks to almost nothing and why would you play the game in a place that has almost nothing or a place where the standard is literally everything I just listed? And all you have to do is pick out the bad ones from the group. That's it. Imagine that. Instead of only looking needle in a haystack for the good ones, you're in a country where literally all you have to do is like flick off the few bad ones in a giant pile of good. You tell me what makes more sense. The culture has women who are more submissive. Like, yeah. that's the way it 100%. comes across. That's all it is, yeah. And so I'm not mad at that. Like, I I feel, I genuinely, I'm not just making this up. I genuinely feel terrible for people who feel lonely, right? Mm -hmm. So I agree. if that guy genuinely had difficulty finding a partner here and he had to go somewhere else to find a woman or the woman of his dreams, great. Yeah. But don't mischaracterize what's really going on here and don't make it seem as though like there's a growing body of women in America who are seething over guys who are traveling elsewhere to find a partner. Yeah. No one cares. Yeah, like literally no one cares. Then why talk about it? Um, now, according to Urban Dictionary, the authoritative source uh, for content and information about things like passport bros. The passport bros are men who have chosen to seek out foreign women, typically from other countries for relationships. They believe that Western women have been influenced by cultural and societal pressures to behave in a certain way. Do I look like the kind of person who's pressured to behave in a certain way? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm well, going to behave how I want to behave. And also to be clear, the countries they're going to don't have any yeah. cultural or social pressure yes. on what no, they do. It doesn't no. affect them in any it's way. It's only in America. Mm -hmm. It's a American it's, it's thing. New. It's a yeah. new thing. There are no social pressures in any other country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what the people are saying. Yeah. Um. So they're seeking out foreign women so they can. Do they do any research into this? Because it's mostly people in the West period. It's not just America. It's in France. It's in Germany. It's in Sweden, Norway. All these all these countries that are dealing with the feminist slash gender ideology slash rainbow mafia slash all this stuff all mixed in the pot that have started churning out people that are not fit for families. Yeah. Can find a more authentic, fulfilling and harmonious relationship. Mm hmm. <sighs> okay, and this is uh, seen as a way to restore the natural balance between masculine and feminine energy and to avoid the wickedness of Western women. Well, I can be pretty wicked. You can. I also, I Very love the wicked. idea of like these guys are like, all I need is like $5,000 so I can go have random sex with a bunch of women because they're wicked back here. I'm virtuous and moral as I try to have random sex on the beaches of Thailand, but these damn whores in Minnesota are trying to corrupt my pure soul. Bro, did you not just read the prior definition? Did you, is this guy miss the part where it says to find authentic, fulfilling, and harmonious relationships, not to go have random sex with strangers? Do you see how they inject the narrative? They literally just read you a online definition of passport bros that says they're looking for real relationships, marriage material. And their comeback is this dude's just having random wild sex in Thailand because he's so broke, he's so ugly, he couldn't do that in the literal hookup capital of the world where people absolutely do not treat their bodies like a temple, more like a garbage dump. You think you need to go overseas just to have sex because it's hard in America. Are you kidding me? 
Do they do any research before even talking about these topics? Have random sex with a bunch of women. Wow. Because they're wicked back here. I'm virtuous and moral as I try to have random sex on the beaches of Thailand. But like these damn bad. whores in Minnesota are trying to corrupt my pure soul. Just need alone. Why is he so emotional? Dude, pay attention to this body language real quick. Watch this. The frustration. Watch. This dude's married. He's unhappy. He's getting pegged. Like his wife runs the household. He's got the last good one, bro. Look at him. Look at the emotional outburst here. Watch what. <laughs> See it alone. It's like a bang someone. Oda are trying to corrupt my pure soul. See bro, catch your breath, please. Relax. If nobody cares that men are going overseas to find love, if all these guys are losers, who pays it? Why would you pay attention? Why would you get so emotionally charged? You get out of breath. <sighs> it's that inner demon coming out of him being unhappy in his marriage <laughs> i'll say this shit out loud bet you they're having problems i bet you he looks at the videos of these dudes having fun i bet you this guy has now finally came into a steady stream of cash with a decent job and he's got some you know public exposure now that if he actually went overseas he would get the perfect wife he sees other lesser men doing it being happy and that's the jealousy that's the greed that's the comparison right there, the thief of joy. Why are you getting emotionally charged as some bozo dusties going overseas and living their life on their own terms? Who cares about what these quote losers are doing going overseas? Why are you so emotionally charged, bro? Why are you so feminine about it? Why does it trigger you so much? You got an 11 minute segment here just to talk about and berate these dudes that are adults doing their own thing with their own money they worked hard for and living life on their own terms and that's got you seething you're out of breath both of them are seething they're like i ah, gotta reaffirm their relationships in the segment gotta reaffirm how great american women are have to reaffirm the fact that these guys are dusties have to reaffirm all of these just to feel better about themselves about <laughs> these people are just living their life having a great time you got the one on the right here that's just upset that men are saying western women are done for when it comes to traditional relationships uh, she took that one personal i'm having a great time in my personal life believe me i didn't not western women aren't damaged and then you got mick simpy cubicle carl here who's like out of breath at the fact that men are actually living the life he's dreaming of having that's unbelievable dude the seething the coping Get alone it's like bang someone damn horse ay 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 yeah. It's ridiculous. Like, look, again, you could do it. You could do it. And lots of people do it. Like, yo, yo, cool. Now you have a hashtag, like name, label, or whatever. But like lots of people do it. But like, let's also just realize what's happening. There are a Weak lot of men, men who either don't have it in them emotionally, spiritually, intellectually, or have been there trained because they follow the wrong influencers that they can't keep up with society. Hmm. There's just a lot about society that they it makes sense that Tate came out of this dude's mouth now. Now I finally made that link. Like imagine being in that exact relationship I just described miserable and you see a video of Tate buying a brand new supercar, being with like 10 different women, living the like teenage boy's dream of a millionaire playboy. How, how insecure would that make you feel? You're not secure in yourself or in your relationship if an Andrew Tate or a passport bro is triggering you. Now we're starting to see the subconscious bubbling out and what he's talking about. Very interesting, huh, when you start to piece these together. They can't take, they literally can't watch a movie because if they see two people the same sex kiss, they their pants. Like they can't keep up. And so they flee somewhere where they think all those things that scare them and make them feel anxiety and uncomfortable will be repressed by the state and by cultural and social pressures. And because women are so repressed and they don't have rights, they don't even have to go to the trouble of stripping them of the rights. Mm -hmm. And so it's guys who can't make it in a modern society who are fleeing to a place where things are set up to benefit them. That's all it is. You know, you do have to admit though, the sex scenes in, in shows and movies, whether they're gay or straight, I don't care. They've gotten a little too long. Like, let's, let's, all right, go, we get it. We get it. You guys are having sex. Can we what's, move on? What's an example? Like, what's a movie? I mean, I'm in the middle oh, of watching poor things just, and there's a lot of long I'm sex scenes in it. Definitely turning into a little bit of a fuddy duddy. Like, mm -hmm. oh, it's too much violence in this scene. I don't like that. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't like watching someone get tortured. Okay, Schrodinger's feminism. Women are simultaneously helpless victims, independent boss babes until something happens. Then she can choose which state benefits her more. They're not criticizing passport bros, then proceeds to criticize passport bros. <laughs> Men, get married, have kids, get divorced, lose kids, plus home. The American dream. 
This is what it sounds like when someone is covering a story they don't know what the story is about. Passport Bros started in America because no one knows what a woman is. Imagine an entire country wondering, what is a woman? They're mad because men are exercising their options. Indeed. And a bunch of comments that are like this. I usually, them from other leftist men, I usually agree with a lot of TYT, but on this subject, they're way out of the loop. Yeah, there's a bunch of those comments. Go to where you're appreciated. This goes for men and women. And look, my 27-year-old son says women are too much drama here. From what I see, I agree. There you go, boys. <laughs> Thoughts on this one. We'll see you on the next one.